best thing that you can do for your skin is to exfoliate the skin. You exfoliate the skin because you're looking for brighter, a more natural, glowing skin. Now you can achieve this by exfoliating your skin at least two to three times a week. The way the exfoliator works on the skin is that it gets rid of the dead skin cells. The skin tends to shed every 31 days, but if you exfoliate, it will speed up the process and take it down to about 15 to 25 days. When you exfoliate the skin, it clean out those pores. So if you have a lot of blackheads and whiteheads, it's going to clean the pores and shrink them tremendously. And it will leave your skin with a natural, fresh, bright, radiant glow. So what I'm going to do for you today, I'm going to share an anti-aging exfoliator. So this exfoliator not only going to give the skin a natural glow, but it's going to help to get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines and boot circulation and have your skin looking younger than your actual age. So what are you waiting for? Let's get in the kitchen, whip this up really, really quick. And at the end, I'm going to share a live demonstration of how to use this on your skin for best results. So let's go mix this up and then we'll do the demonstration. Our first ingredient is grapefruit and grapefruit contains vitamin C. Vitamin C will have to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation, but it will also have to boost collagen production. Grapefruit when used on the skin will have to clean the skin of grease and dirt exfoliate the skin, get deep into the pores, clean out the dead skin cells, and leave your skin with a smooth feel, a very hydrating and a very refreshing feel. Now for the grapefruit, the first thing I'm gonna do is to peel the grapefruit. Now I like to put away the peel to dry, to use in my DIY, just like I do with the orange. So just peel. And when it comes on to the orange family, which is what the grapefruit belongs to, they're all rich in vitamin C. So if you do not have grapefruit for this recipe, you can go ahead and you can use orange, you can use tangerine, you can even use some lemon or some lime. However, for this recipe, I would prefer either grapefruit or orange. The rind from this grapefruit smells amazing. So what I'm gonna do with the peel, I'm gonna put it away to dry so I can use it to make my homemade DIY facials. Now here we have the grapefruit and let's just cut this in two halves. And take a look, half for the recipe and half I'm gonna eat right now. Let's taste it. Mmm. Oh, so. Mm, 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 mm. Now, this grapefruit looks really pretty, but this is extremely sour. However, the sourer it is, the better it is for your skin. So let me go ahead and juice this grapefruit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to extract the grapefruit juice, and I'm using my strainer. So just squeeze. And grapefruit is normally very, very juicy. So you get a lot of juice to work with. Now once this is done, here we have our fresh grapefruit juice. Now our next ingredient is sugar. Today I'm using brown sugar. However, if you do not have brown sugar, go ahead and use white sugar. Sugar contains glycolic acid, which will help to clear the skin of pigmentation. It will also help to get rid of dead skin cells. It will also seep deep into the pores, clean the pores out. And it also makes a great exfoliator for not only your face, but your entire body. So here I have a quarter cup of the brown sugar. If you're using white sugar, use the same amount, a quarter cup. Now my next ingredient is green tea. And we're using the green tea for its antioxidant properties. Green tea will have to smooth the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. It will also have to boost the collagen production in the skin. For this recipe, I'm using one tea bag, which is about a teaspoon of loose leaf green tea. Now we're gonna pour our green tea in the bowl with our brown sugar. We're gonna mix the two ingredients together. 
So we're mixing brown sugar and green tea. So mix well, totally blend the two ingredients together. You can also choose to mix this and put it in a Ziploc or bag and put it in your refrigerator. When you're ready to use it, you just take it out and add your liquid or your oil. Now, once this is done, our next ingredient is aloe vera gel. For this recipe, you can choose to use fresh aloe vera gel or you can use your regular store-bought. So we're using about a teaspoon of our aloe vera gel, pour this in. If you're using fresh aloe vera gel, go ahead and use the same amount, about a teaspoon of the gel. And we're just gonna fold this in with our green tea and brown sugar. Just work the aloe vera gel in. And this has an amazing fragrance. Now, once this is done, take a look. Now we're gonna reach back for our grapefruit. And we're gonna start out with two teaspoons of the grapefruit juice. You really do not need a lot. And you're gonna blend this right in. And this is the consistency that you need for your anti-aging facial scrub. So just mix well. Also, if you do not have the aloe vera gel, you can add some honey to this. And this is it, your anti-aging facial scrub. That is gonna help to exfoliate the skin, get rid of rough, dull looking skin. Now let's pour this in a storage container. Make sure to get everything out. Now if you wanna make more of this recipe, just double up on the ingredient. And here it is your facial scrub. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on the other side and I'm gonna show you how best to use this amazing, when I tell you amazing, amazing facial scrub. One of the best thing that you can do for your skin is to exfoliate and a very good homemade facial scrub is this one right here. Really good, clean the skin, clear the skin, and when you're done, your skin feel really soft. However, don't take my word for it. You definitely need to try this. Let me go on the other side and do a live demonstration for you. Now here we have the facial scrub, and I'm gonna exfoliate my face on my neck with the facial scrub. Now, a suggestion I have for you is to steam your face before you exfoliate if you have a steamer. This will help the pores to be more cleaner since it will soften the sebum and the dirt and the grease that fills the pore. So be generous with the facial scrub. A teaspoon is good. A teaspoon of the scrub. And then just rub it in your hands and exfoliate the skin. Be gentle. Your face do not let this get in your eyes. Take it down and the decollete. And let me reach for some more. And if you're curious if this could use as a full body scrub, yes it can. Get rid of your dark neck. Exfoliate the neck. If you have large pores, Exfoliate, get deep into the pores. And you can take this up close under your eyes, but do not let it get in your eyes. Your lips. And after about three minutes or so, then you wanna rinse this off. Oh, so amazing, amazing. And that's it. Now this scrub can be used two to three times per week for best result. Use up your scrub and you're on your way to beautiful, amazing looking skin. When you rinse this off, go ahead and pat dry the skin and apply your favorite skincare products, okay? Now once this is done, you're gonna rinse off, preferably with some cold water, pat dry the skin and apply your favorite skincare products. Now this is good to use two to three times per week 
for best result. And remember to store the leftovers in the refrigerator for up to seven days. If when you're ready to use it, the sugar melts, just add a little bit more sugar to it. And it's just an amazing scrub. So there you have it, such an amazing exfoliator. Don't take my word for it. What you need to do, you need to give it a try. So go ahead, whip it up. The ingredients are easy to come by. So whip it up, try it on your skin, give it a chance to work. However, the first time you use this on the skin, you should see some form of a result. Continue to use it and you're on your way to a more younger, fresher, clearer, brighter looking skin.